Tiada sakola putina du de faisu badia seiona sakoma dinge na Increasing CO2 concentrations and temperatures and the mean sea level rise impact mangrove functions. Represented on 75% of tropical coastlines, mainly in emerging countries, this ecosystem plays an important ecological, sociological and especially economic role for coastal populations. In February 2017, an international multidisciplinary team of scientists traveled to New Caledonia to study an exceptional mangrove forest. Dans ce contexte de changement climatique, nous avons décidé de développer un observatoire des mangroves qui se développe dans différents pays, en Nouvelle-Zélande, en Nouvelle-Calédonie et au Vietnam. Notre objectif est d'instrumenter différents sites afin de suivre leurs évolutions. Nous avons choisi ces pays car ils sont caractérisés par une biodiversité différente, mais également des climats différents et des pressions anthropiques différentes. Nous sommes ici dans la mangrove de Jimek, à Ouvéa en Nouvelle-Calédonie. Il s'agit peut-être d'une des mangroves les plus préservées de la planète, où les hommes vivent en harmonie avec la nature depuis des centaines d'années. Cependant, cette mangrove, comme les autres, va subir les effets des changements climatiques, et notamment la hausse du niveau des océans. L'autre particularité de ce site est qu'il s'agit d'une mangrove se développant sur un atoll, sur une île basse, sans apport sédimentaire, sans apport de sol, depuis les bassins versants, depuis les montagnes. Le niveau de son sol va donc évoluer de façon plus lente que pour les autres mangroves. Uvea is remote from any of those terrigenous sediment sources. So we're at, this is a, a what you might call a, an in-member system and where it's purely biological in terms of sediment production. We have um, litter production by the mangroves themselves and below ground biomass production, so that's the root system. Or we have the animals um, in the lagoon which are producing carbonate sediments. And one of the key things we want to know is whether a system like this can keep up with sea level rise as sea level is starting to um, accelerate in terms of its, uh, its level over time. The mangrove forests and other wetland um, communities such as salt marsh, they have to keep pace with that increase in sea level to, um, to sustain themselves in the long term. They look good. I'm amazed. I put them down at high tide. Conserving the mangroves is an issue that goes beyond just biodiversity. I think conserving the mangroves means that people can eat in the future and that communities really need, uh, need mangroves into the future. So a lot of my Research is motivated by that thought. You know, when I sort of really started to realise that the people of Indonesia, you know, they, without their mangroves, a lot of the coastal communities, they're going to starve. And, uh, or things are going to be a lot worse. Well, it's not only food, I suppose, it's all the other services. And because mangroves are so important for fisheries and coastal protection and other ecosystem services that pr they provide, you know, timber and all sorts of things that people use them for, that um, it's really important to try and understand how this habitat is going to maintain itself with sea level rise. So by doing this work on Uvea, and this is maybe one of the few studies of like this in the Pacific, we really hope to contribute to the conversation about how Pacific islands are going to fare with sea level rise. All right, so here we have one of our electronic dendrometer bands. And these bands measure tree growth, except we're measuring every single hour how much the tree is sort of slightly increasing. Sometimes they shrink when they uh, don't have enough water. 
But over the year, we're hopeful, or over the years, we're going to leave these on for the duration of the project. We hope to understand which environmental conditions are really good for tree growth, that favour tree growth, and which conditions are uh, bad for tree growth or when the trees are stressed. In order to track the evolution of the mangrove forest floor across centuries, scientists have turned to sedimentary records. These cool samples will reveal the quality of the soil and, above all, its age, allowing scientists to know the rate of sediment deposit at any given time. This information is crucial in these times of sea level rise. Nous avons perdu un petit peu, mais ce n'est pas bon, ce n'est pas mal. Ok. Ok. Lost a bit, but... We can see uh, different colors which mean different composition of sediment. So, and also I can feel in the bottom of the core uh, shells, which uh, very difficult and broke this part of the, of the coring, coring device. But this is very nice. This is nearly the entire depth of sediment that we have this location. So this will provide an excellent history of the uh, sedimentation processes that contribute to the mangrove forest. 100 ou 200 ans, peut-être, on ne sait pas, but uh, what we'll measure, we'll measure using um, naturally occurring radioisotopes to, uh, to date the different ages and layers of sediment. In order to measure the current rate of elevation of the mangrove forest floor, Scientists will deploy at regular intervals a measuring instrument they call a surface elevation table. But first, they need to find a robust and stable reference point, quite a challenge in this world of mud and water. Yeah, number nine is beyond us, a little more parallel to the outstream. We're uh, driving a steel rod until it does not go any further. And that creates a point from which we can measure how the elevation of the surface is changing with regards to vegetation, organic matter, uh, deposition, root structure changes, and sediment loading. Yeah. Yep. Be perfect. Okay. I need the final In terms of making the measurements, what we're doing is we're measuring the vertical distance from the top of the R set arm to the top of each pin. So we measure to the nearest millimetre in turn as we work along the pins like that and the, the distance to the sediment surface is uh, basically just the, the total length of the pin minus the, um, the vertical distance above the R set arm and that's what we use to develop our elevation um, the relationship with over time. The scientists deployed other instruments in the Nijmek mangrove in order to acquire more data 
which will serve to monitor the relationship between sea and land level evolution over time. The Manao Research Program will run for several years. The knowledge gained will prove particularly useful for the scientific community's effort to understand the adaptation possibilities of the mangrove forest in the context of current environment changes. Later on, this knowledge will strengthen the coastal population's resilience to climate change. Oh, 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 oh.